Picture this. It's just about 1 a.m. and the sky is pulsing with lightning like a relentless strobe light. Then, in a flash, your entire world disappears. Homes, businesses, lives, obliterated by a force of nature so powerful it defies belief. This is not a movie. This is the true story of Barneville, Wisconsin and the F5 tornado that struck on June 8, 1984. A night that turned a small town to rubble and left a legacy of awe and resilience. Welcome to F5 Chronicles. Today, we're uncovering one of Wisconsin's most catastrophic natural disasters. If you're hooked on weather, history, or stories of survival, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. In 1984, Barneville, Wisconsin was a sleepy village of about 580 people in Iowa County. That's 25 miles southwest of Madison. It was a tight-knit community where life revolved around family, farming, and faith. Nestled near the Blue Mound, locals believed their hilly terrain shielded them from tornadoes, a comforting myth that would soon be shattered. On June 7, 1984, the day started like any other, but the atmosphere is brewing with something sinister. A powerful low-pressure system swept across the upper Midwest, dragging warm, humid air from the Gulf of Mexico into Wisconsin. By 10 p.m., storms stretched from Missouri through Iowa into northwestern Wisconsin, fueled by an unstable air mass. The National Weather Service notes a strong jet streak, a ribbon of fast-moving air high in the atmosphere, also amplified by vertical wind shear, the twist that turns storms into tornado factories. A tornado watch went into effect at 11 p.m. Most folks were asleep, oblivious to the danger. Back then, warning systems almost didn't exist. No cell phones, no internet. TV stations signed off after the late news. Radar couldn't spot the tornado's signature hook echo. And with storms moving fast after dark, the odds were stacked against this town. The stage was set for disaster. At exactly 12.41 a.m. Central Daylight Time on June 8th, East touched down five to six miles southwest of Barneveld, rated an F5 on the Fujita scale. With winds over 261 miles per hour, this tornado was a juggernaut. It widened and intensified as it barreled northeast at over 60 miles per hour. At 12.50 a.m., it slammed into Barneveld, no mercy. Moments earlier, a lightning strike killed the town's power. silencing the tornado siren. Residents woke to thunder that rattled their bones, but it was too late. And lifting at 1.40 a.m. in northern Dane County, 59 minutes of chaos. Debris rained far and wide. A bank pouch landed 86 miles away in Mayville. Paperwork reached Bondowell, 110 miles northeast. Along its route, trees were stripped and debarked, another F5 hallmark. The Weather Service says this was part of a broader outbreak. F2s hit Arlington into Forest, and F3 struck Marcuson, and more tore through southern Wisconsin. But Barneville bore the brunt, the deadliest and costliest blow of all. Finally, dawn hit and revealed a ghost town. Nine people perished in Barneveld nine of 580 residents. Across the outbreak, 200 were injured. The National Weather Service pegged damages at $40 million statewide, with 25 million in Barneville alone, making it Wisconsin's second costliest tornado, or the costliest when adjusted to $2,025. Rescue teams combed the runes, pulling survivors from the chaos. The water tower, battered but upright, stood as a lone sentinel. The community rallied hard, Neighbors dug through debris, the Red Cross rushed in, and volunteers arrived in droves. We're not giving up, we're going in, became Barnabelle's rallying cry. Survivors clung to hope, even as they mourned. The scale of the loss was staggering, nearly every family touched by the destruction. Experts descended too. Ted Pagita, the Pagita scale creator, confirmed the F5 rating. 
stunned by the erasure of sturdy new homes. University of Wisconsin's Charles Anderson studied the debris fields. Light items like checks scattered across a 23 mile wide, 110 mile long swath. Heavier objects like boards in an 85 mile arc. It was a rare window into a tornado's anatomy. Why did this tornado hit so hard? Timing was a killer. The National Weather Service notes, violent tornadoes rarely strike at night. Most peak from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. At 12.41 a.m., Barneveld was defenseless. The power outage killed the siren, and 1984 radar missed the storm's full threat. No spotter saw it coming in the dark. Add the local belief that Blue Mound offered protection and complacency sealed the fate. Tech was a limiting factor. Unlike today's Doppler radar, 1984 systems couldn't pinpoint rotation. No instant alerts, just TV or radio if you were awake. The Weather Service highlights the storm's fuel, a warm, humid air mass clashing with fierce wind shear under the jet stream. It was a freak alignment. Only three F5s have hit Wisconsin since 1950. Colfax in 58, Barneveld in 84, and Oakfield in 1996. Wisconsin isn't Tornado Alley, but when conditions peak, it's a contender. The National Weather Service says the overlap of instability and shear that night was textbook for a monster storm. Barneveld didn't stand a chance. The city of Barneveld, they fought back. From 500 residents, it's grown to over 1,200 today. Memorial Park, dedicated in 1986, honors the nine lost and anchors the community's recovery. Grants and sheer determination rebuilt the town, though emotional wounds linger. The Weather Service calls it a turning point, spurring advances in forecasting and warnings. 40 years later, survivors like Marianne Myers recall the lightning's eerie glow and the will to rebuild. Today's tech, Doppler radar, satellites, instant alerts, means a night like June 8th, 1984, is less likely to blindside us now. But Barneveld's story endures as a warning and an inspiration. Now Barneveld blends old charm with new strength. Trees have regrown, homes stand tall, and the community thrives. A phoenix risen from the rubble. It's proof that even the worst storms can't break the human spirit. The 1984 Barneveld tornado was a nightmare, a marvel, and a rebirth. Could modern tech stop it today? Tell us in the comments. If this story gripped you, hit like, share it, and subscribe for more. Next time, we'll tackle another F5 Chronicle. Thanks for watching.